Department, but joining me at the desk now to give us more insights on the NUMSA wage strike is Gerrit Papanfus. He's the chief executive of the National Employers Association of South Africa, NISA. Gerrit, thank you so much for making the time to join us. Now, we've heard that there's been some sort of movement. Um, the last time we checked in, the offer that was being made by SIFSA was 10%. You're not supporting that 10%. No. Yeah, this, uh, this situation is extremely complex. Um, uh, we negotiated with uh, uh, CIFSA in the same caucus until a particular point. And uh, just to give you an idea what is the, what is the relative positions of these organizations, CIFSA uh, approximately uh, uh, representing approximately 2,000 employers, some of them very big employers. NIASA um, representing 3,000 employers, mostly small and medium-sized business. Um, we've got a very, very clear mandate uh, from our employers, and if I say that, I mean me sitting with them mm. all over South Africa in a room, getting a very clear indication what they can afford, 8%, subject to two things, um, bringing in measures to create work in this industry. This industry is, is lost over years, what three quarters mean? of a million workers. What does that mean? Does that mean you want to lower no, the no. entry level wage? Yeah, for newcomers. Okay. Only on the lowest levels. We, 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 we need to create a measurement to bring in young people, inexperienced people at lower levels. The industry is too expensive to bring newcomers in. The industry is creating no mm. work. Secondly, we want to make the industry more flexible. That's our position. What Chiefs do you mean by more flexible? Well, the, the problem of collective bargaining is that you do a deal in Johannesburg, and you then extend the deal to all over South Africa into rural areas. Can you imagine a deal being struck here by a multinational mm. being applied to a small business employing two people in Kalkamas? What happens this evening if we find that the unions have accepted the 10% that's been put on the table? You'll have this. There are 12,000 employers at least in the industry. I think it's closer to 14,000. NIFSA, rep NIFSA representing 2,000 of those employers uh, will, will have a deal. 10,000 employers will be cut out of the deal. They will not comply with that deal. So it's a deal affecting 2,000 employers and I think a very unhappy CIFSA small businesses. Uh, they will then approach the minister to extend that agreement. We will challenge it and nullify it. Will you challenge it in court? Uh, absolutely. We've done it previously. Uh, the, the previous three years agreement, we've challenged it successfully. We've been in court a few days ago to challenge it. I believe we will be successful. If they do this without Nehasa, the deal will become absolute. Why are you and CIFSA not finding each other? Why are you not on the same side of the fence before you engage with the well, union? Well, you know, we were. We were t up to a particular point. I think what is happening here, CIFSA wants a deal at all cost. Now you can't, you can't, you can't do a deal. It's very easy to stop a strike. You do what the aid unions ask you to do. Then you stop the strike. What happens immediately afterwards, businesses retrench, they, they uh, 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 streamline, they uh, trim their, their businesses, and they mechanize. Now there's one thing that South Africa cannot afford is mechanizing. We must m arrange, make an arrangement which make the, the uh, employment of people more attractive than the utilizing of machines. If we don't do that, we are in serious difficulty. They broke ranks because to some extent they want a deal at all cost. We say we cannot afford, South Africa cannot afford a deal at all cost. So we, in fact, CIFSA and us had a very constructive meeting today. It's not as if we don't look each other in the eye. But are you weaker now? Do you feel that because you're divided on the offer that's on are. the table, that the employers are oh, on the back foot? Oh, absolutely. We are weaker. But on the other hand, we, you know, there's, uh, you know, if CIFSA is doing this deal, they would have given everything away for this deal, and we are not prepared to do that. We cannot afford it. You know, there's a point where you said, I c so I cannot go beyond that, because if I do, I might end the strike, but I won't be in business in a month or two's time. Gert, thank you so much uh, for making the time to join us.